three, thanks very much um, for joining us. I just wanted to focus a little bit on digitization because that's been what kind of one of the the key sort of discussion points in a, in a lot of our briefings. How are you seeing this, particularly looking at that digitization trend in terms of the real estate markets for 2023? The digitization trend in CR industry uh, is growing very well and the adoption level by the industry for digitization is increasing. This uh, got started uh, during the COVID time period. The industry felt a big need for uh, digitization during that period because every landlord and every tenant was looking at various lease provisions like the default, first major, sales kickout, uh, co-tenancy, et cetera. They want to understand how those things are all defined in the lease so that they can uh, make some changes and they can ensure to see you know, how they can keep the revenue and the tenants uh, staying in the same premises. So there was a lot of need for quick data. So, uh, and that is where uh, we were able to help many of our customers, the remaps, the digitization feature, with artificial intelligence to annotate the key provisions, enable us to quickly answer those questions for our clients. That helped them a lot uh, in this time period. And uh, landlords who have more lease data now uh, needs to navigate uh, the current market conditions. Say for example, right now with all the change in the market conditions, the need for the landlords to look for more granular data is increasing. And with ESG and other compliance factors, the land us uh, everybody's looking for a lot more uh, granular data i noticed as well shri that that um, you recently made an acquisition in asia what was the strategy behind this i suppose why now um why asia and, and what does this bring i suppose to your clients but also potentially um, i suppose to the to the real estate sector really oh yes uh, this acquisition in my opinion has come at the right time for us and for the industry okay we are seeing an, an increase in demand for digitization and the company that we acquired, Eximius, has a good reputation in the industry of providing high quality abstracts. And they have a very good talented team. And interest with our remap technology, uh, we were able to scale up on uh, many of the abstraction requirements for customers. As you know, we do that in 40 different languages. So the need for digitization is increasing in the market space. So when customers are looking for more granular data, you know, what you need is technology and uh, good people, because what we have been constantly telling in the technology front is technology by itself is not going to be solving the problems. You need human in the loop for many of those things, especially in the CRE space. So now with a good pool of our town, now we are going to be having around 1,200 people focusing purely on the CRE space. So this means, you know, we'll be able to address many of our clients' needs faster and better. And the need is also expanding globally. So we expanded into Europe three years back, and we are doing a lot of uh, data integration and digitization services for many customers in Europe. Now with this presence in Asia, we'll be expanding into the Asian market also. And for our customers, what what it's going to bring them is uh, technology and talent uh, to them in uh, in one single fashion. And do you think there's a sort of lot of... Um, untapped demand in I mean I was in Singapore recently and very interesting to see the differences there between Europe and Asia for certain yeah. but do you see a lot of untapped demand at the moment in that Asian market? Absolutely we see a lot of untapped uh, in, in the Asian market in Singapore, Seoul, Hong Kong and Australia they all also see the need for a lot more granular data out there especially at the fund level when people are investing people have invested in real estate a lot and that is where changes are happening right now they need more granular data and people are now having global investments. We have seen uh, many of the uh, uh, Singapore and Australian funds investing in all over the world, and they need all those data to be aggregated and analyzed very efficiently. So we see a lot of untapped potential out there, and they are all being uh, underserved in terms of uh, good data so far, I would say. So now they see an opportunity to see how they can be more efficient in using their data. Great. Really interesting to catch up and interesting to see the the strategy there. Um, Shri, great to catch up. Thanks very much. Thank you very much.